I had a couple of senior members of the legal profession. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I once attended a book presentation and the speeches were getting very long. Such that by the time the lectures were over, there was nobody left in the hall to launch the book. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is different. Because the Lord, the president of the National Industrial Court, in his lecture, which I happened to meet midway, had done extensive justice to the review of this book. <laughs> he was, his efforts were ably complemented by that of my learned friend, Ike Udume of FIRS, who changed his originally <laughs> the presentation he originally intended to discuss. That's a good lawyer, thinking on his feet. And you will agree with me that his response to Milord's moment of truth was impactful, was adequate, and comprehensive. So as far as I'm concerned, the combination of the moment of truth and the able delivery by the very eminent director of legal of FRS, that combination has given us an adequate review of this book. Therefore, we do not need to belabor this book review. What we should be doing now is to launch the book. I would say that um, the cases collected in this book represent the embodiment of judicial wisdom, judicial excellence, and judicial pragmatism because the courts were able to formulate very powerful principles, very powerful principles which for a long time to come, for a long time to come, will provide a comprehensive guide for any lawyer or any professional who is interested in understanding at least the fundamental principles on the line Nigerian tax law. So we should congratulate the young man, the author, who has done this work, who has done this great service to the nation. <laughs> we have been told, in fact, we are all aware of the great importance that tax has come to, to, to occupy. Important pride of place that taxation has come to occupy. In fact, when Mr. Abdume disclosed that last year tax contributed 70%, I hope I got it right, sir, 70%, and I'm sure this year you will do much more because there's a greater awareness because of the activism and the creativity of the current leadership of the FRS. They will do 80%. They will do 80% by law. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have the book before us, and I want to invite you to join me here Some eminent personalities here present. I cannot do this work alone. The task is, 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 is enormous. You know, this is a great task. This is a great service we are doing to the country. We are trying to popularize the legal framework for effective taxation in our country. And I want to encourage Mr. Dume to follow the example of um, the Lord, the President of the National Industrial Court who led 
an uncommon revolution, an unprecedented reform of the labor adjudication system in Nigeria. Let's give a clap to our to the Lord. What people said could not be done, his Lordship did it. Transformed in the, a part of our in an entity to become an important pillar. I think the offer that my Lord gave to FRS, I think you should take that offer, sir. With two hands. <laughs> because there's nothing impossible if we are determined to do it. Our law, tax laws are too weak to sustain the kind of responsibilities we are placing on the tax system, on the tax system of the country. So on that note, let me respectfully invite my Lord. A man of great courage, creativity, and candor. Honorable Justice B. Adejumo, to please come and join us. Let me invite the director leader of Avarice to please come. Let me invite my friend, <laughs> representing the Honorable the Attorney General of the Foundation of Africa, to please come and join us. For endowing this young man with such brilliance with such creativity, with such perceptive understanding of issues. And in great anticipation of the greater awareness and understanding of tax system, which would bring in more lawyers into the profession, just as Mr. Ike Udume told us, of the opportunities that are in tax for, for lawyers, and for the advancement of the well-being of Nigeria as a nation through improved tax system, we present to the glory of God and for the use of Nigeria this book called Nigerian and International Taxation and Revenue-Related Cases. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, I'll call you back, sir. The managing partner of our firm is there. <laughs> Don't get up with me. My name is Olaide Akinshaye George. <laughs>